Night is guaranteed to make you laugh. He's one of the best young stand-ups to come out of Aotearoa. His comedy has been described as the squeaky hinge on the lid of Pandora's box. Can you please welcome to the stage the man, Andre King. There's cops everywhere, man. Now, I wouldn't normally run from cops, but these fellas look horny. <laughs> it's a pretty weird gig, this, man, eh? Woo! Pretty weird gig. Pretty weird gig. So many brown people gathered together and not one ounce of police, sort of, you know. <laughs> when has that ever happened in the history of New Zealand? Never! That's when. Oh, it is a weird gig though, man, because I'm, like, I'm a stand-up comic, I'm a Māori, and you, there aren't too many of us out working on the circuit, you know? Uh, but, and so when I go on tour, I, I'm kind of like the only Māori on the bill. You know, the, I'm the token Māori. That's me. When you hear token Māori, look at this face. That's me. You know? But here, at this gig, there's a whole bunch of Māoris out the back, and they're all token. <laughs> Yeah, I get hassled by my cousins all the time because I don't actually speak like a Māori, you know. I go up north and I see them and they're all like, oh, steady with, oh. <laughs> you don't even talk like us, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's because while you dudes were wagging, I actually went to school. <laughs> this is the accent of education, my friends. I grew up in a, in a, in a Māori household too, you know, so we didn't have much growing up. The old man uh, got me and my brother a toy, though he gave us a tyre swing. <laughs> Which was weird, because we didn't even have a tree. <laughs> um, it was just an old tyre, put a rope tied round it. Me and my brother used to drag each other around the back lawn. <laughs> Every six months or so, we lost that toy too, whenever the old man needed a warrant. <laughs> So yeah, I live in South Auckland, I've got a couple of kids now as well, and they brought in the new anti-smacking bill, that's all through now, and I've got to say, as a parent, I'm not worried about this anti-smacking thing, man. Nah, doesn't bother me at all, because I find you don't have to hit the kids, you don't. I find that if you just make a mean face, <laughs> and wave the gun around a wee bit, <laughs> You've got to be tough to live in South Auckland, man. You've got to be tough. And I figured out how you can look tough in South Auckland without actually having to be tough. Just whenever you go to a bar and you order a drink, make sure they don't put a straw in it. <laughs> That's it, because you can't be tough if you've got a straw in your drink. You can't. If you've got a straw in your drink, you can't stand there. Some dude's cracking onto your missus. You can't stand there and go, hey, bro, you better back off, man, or I'm going to smash you. South Auckland's a confusing place to live too, isn't it? <laughs> hey, lots of different nationalities, different cultures, different customs, different national costumes. I went out to post a letter the other day and while I was putting it into the slot there, damn near poked a Muslim woman's eye out. <laughs> Lots of Indians. Lots of Indians in South Auckland, man. Ooh, all over the place. And I've always wondered with those little red dots, man. Those little red dots. If you scratched one off, would you find a lucky number underneath? <laughs> I know that's not true, but imagine if it was. Imagine if you could actually do that. Scratch one off and there was a lucky number. Because then New Zealand immigration could adopt it as a policy, right? On whether or not to allow them to, to like, move into the country and live here as citizens. Think about that, you'd have Mr. Duck, 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 Duck. Landing in New Zealand, getting off the plane, going through customs, an old Joe Customs official would be standing there and he'd say, just a minute there, Mr. Duck, 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 Duck. Come here for a second, new policy, won't take long. Yes, I know it's a bit inconvenient. 
seven. Seven. All right, I'll just check my list there. Seven, seven, seven. Ah, seven. Look at that. Congratulations, Mr. Rakpanatak, tak, 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 tak. You're an instant Kiwi.